Hi, welcome on iMay Info channel. And today I'm going to tell you how to check your phone's activation date by using your iMay number. And at first, we'll need to check the iMay number. And there are typically three methods to do that. So let's begin with the first the most simple one, which is going to your phone and simply opening the mm, phone app uh, so you can dial a special secret number. All you need to do is go to keypad, type in um, the asterisk pound 06 pound. And that works on both iPhones as well as Android phones. It always works and it shows you the iMay number. And you may notice there are two iMay numbers. So you can just enter either of those in the website that I'm going to show you in a moment. But let's see other options of checking the iMay number. You can do it in the settings. So if you go to the settings, um, on iPhones, it'll be general, then about. On Android phones, typically it'll, it'll, it'll be at the very top or at the very bottom of the settings, about device or something like that. And then you'll be able to find the iMay number somewhere here. You can see I have two iMay numbers here as well. And now the last method is using the box. On the box, you'll see sometimes on the back, sometimes on the bottom or on the side, uh, there are IMEI numbers and I can see the IMEI 1 here and the IMEI 2 here. And now all we need to do is go to the IMEI.info website. Now, since we are on the IMEI.info website, all you need to do is insert your IMEI number that you found on your phone. First, I'm going to do it for iPhones. So let's enter my number. And you can see, you can just click on check iMay and then scroll down. And for iPhones, um, if you want to check the activation date, you'll need to select the paid advanced check. So let's select the Apple carrier and lock status and FMI and then scroll down. Click on make an order. It's just $4.99. Um, for that, so um, it's really worth it, I think. Then you need to enter your email address. I'm going to do that in a moment. Uh, select the payment method, click on I have read and agree to the website terms and conditions, which you can read by, read by the way, and then click on pay with Stripe checkout. I'm going to get back to you when that's done. And now after several seconds, uh, after getting the payment, you don't really need to wait too long. You're on the Apple Carrier um, and Locked Status and FMI checking website. And you can see I have lots of info about the device. And the most important one is the purchase date. The purchase date usually stands for uh, the activation date. So in this case, it's actually true. I have activated this phone on 25th um, of January 2023. And um, you can also see the activation status. It is activated, uh, the coverage status and all the other stuff. Uh, now let's go to the Android phones because on the Android phones it's going to be quite similar, although um, there are some minor differences. If you do it on your Android phone, then results may be sort of different each time. And also on the list of the checks on the IMEI Info website, of course, um, you may have different names. Uh, so it may be different than on iPhone. Instead of activation and warranty and FMI, it may be like warranty and country checking or some warranty check. It may be different uh, and <clears throat> sometimes it'll be paid, but in most cases it'll be for free. Then you'll see the result and I've checked it for my Techno phone and um, it has the date here. When the activation date is right here, you can see it was activated on 22nd of March 2025. Um, you can also see the expiration date as well of the warranty, of course. Then 
instead of warranty activation date, it can be purchase date, estimated purchase date, activation date, sometimes warranty start date, or anything else that just resembles the activation, warranty start, or binding date, something like that. And I'm gonna show you the last result from a Xiaomi phone. And the result for the Xiaomi phone is right here. You can see it says warranty start date and also tells you about the um, activation country and all the other stuff. It's always different. Also, uh, there is a chance that your phone may be not activated and I'm gonna show you how it looks. Uh, as you go to the website and it says not activated um, or something like that or warranty not started or like the warranty date may be zero, zero, then you'll know that the phone has not been activated. On iPhones, it will always say what activation status is not activated. On Android phones, it may be different. And um, you can see it right here. So I think it's the most useful if you're buying the phone from someone, you can ask them for the iMain number of that phone and if they give you that, you can check it on our IMA info website and then see if that phone has been activated, which means if it has been used. And that's basically it for this video. Uh, try checking it on your own, subscribe to our channel and like the video. Bye.